Okay, let's have a look at this fish question here, um, which so many of you were interested in. Um, the question is, what is the weight of a fish if it weighs 10 kilograms plus half of its weight? Now, just initially, that wording can um, kind of throw some students off, but have a look at what's actually going on here. If I have some fish, I don't know, there we go. <laughs> Can't draw too well. But let's say we take this guy, and I'm asking, what if I have 10 kilos plus half of whatever he is. So I'll cut him in half, and I'm just going to have half of him. <clears throat> that is equal to his weight. So then what's his weight equal to? And you can just start with trial and error um, and see what works out. So for example, if we say that this fish is 10 kilograms, if I take half of his weight, supposedly, that would give me uh, 5 kilos, because that's half, right? If I add that, to 10 kilos, again, I should end up with his weight, which is what I started with, but that doesn't quite work out, right? So that doesn't make sense. And you can try and start, uh, use lots of numbers and, and see what you get. It turns out the answer is 20, because if you take 20 kilos, right, if you take that weight and say, okay, what's half of that? Well, half of that would be 10 kilos, right? And if you take that 10 kilos and you add it to that one there, Oh, well, if we just say that that's 10 kilos there, that's half of them. You add them together, you do end up with 20, and that is actually what I started with. Right? So that's how we're going to approach a problem like this. We can try and guess some numbers and see what happens. Um, if it works out, then I get my answer. With a lot of these problem-solving questions, though, there's always a kind of algebraic way we can apply here. And that's why um, algebra is so useful, because even when we don't know some information, I don't know what his actual weight is, I can still approach this kind of problem. Um, let's get rid of this. <clears throat> what if I said, okay, if I take 10 and I add half of the weight. Now, because I don't know what the weight is, I could say let W, some letter, equal to the weight. All right, so I'll put that in for now. <clears throat> half of his weight, how would I represent that? Well, I can represent that as um, half of W or W over 2. That's the same thing. And when I add that, I will get the weight that I'm looking for, right? Because that's the, the whole thing. Because with fractions, if I'm trying to solve for an equation, I usually don't want those there, so I multiply by 2 um, to get rid of that. Now, when I multiply by 2, I have to multiply every term by 2, right? So I'm saying, okay, I've got 2 times 10 plus 2 times w over 2 equals to 2w. Two, 2 times 10, that's just 20. Now, because I have 2 times w over 2, these are just going to divide through, and I would leave them with w as well, and that will be equal to 2w. And then I can just solve it, I can subtract w from both sides, and I'll end up with 20 is equal to w. So if I take away 1w from 2 lots of w, I'll just end up with 20 equals w, or we prefer to write it like this, w equals to 20. And that's how you, you can get your answer of 20 there, um, 20 kilos. So a few different ways we can approach this question. Um, either way, that's how we can find um, the weight of a fish if it weighs 10 kilos plus half its weight.